Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. The wait is over and the episode is a good setup for the upcoming War for the Kingdom. Although the episode had a 5 minute recap of the first half, the new opening makes up for it. The second opening is awesome and for me matched the tone of what is currently happening in the story. We saw the personality of the criminals Moranho took to the kingdom specially Oaken. So Oaken took a falcon punch from Kingbo after he sit in the throne. He approached Kingbo but went to the corner after getting scoffed off. When the other criminals except Zoku exited the throne room, Oaken showed his true colors. He first used a binding spell to Kingbo then proceeded with cutting off his tendons to stop his movement. He then stabbed Kingbo multiple times in the back and watched the guy bleed out to his enjoyment. Oaken is a sadist and psycho which no wonder Desha locked him in the prison. His power would surely be dangerous and he can't be fought one on one. I bet it would be Boji and Kage who will fight him later on. Kingbo's body was found by Bevan later on and asked the snakes to bury him. But it was hinted that Kingbo is still alive. I don't know how he managed to survive that and if he will, what would be his role in the story since it turns out that he is the son of the crazy King Boji met in his travel. Speaking of Zoku, it appears he is the most cool-headed among the criminals. He is self-proclaiming himself as the king for now as Oaken appears not interested with the crown. But if he would fight someone my guess would be Despa. It would be a battle of wit and sword if they would match up. Now that I mentioned Despa, it was hilarious that his favorite horse bloated due to his absence. But I'm sure he will make it just in time to save someone during the fight. For me, the mystery of King Boss and Moranho is becoming deeper thanks to the new opening that show Moranho playing with the devil when she her still a kid. What is the real relationship between these three characters? And why King Boss allows himself to be captured and let Moranho ruin his kingdom? Is this still part of their plan or Moranho knows that King Boss is rebelling against her? So much questions that makes me crave so much for the next episode. Do you also feel the same? Let us know in the comments section and please also subscribe to support my channel. Thank you.